Here it is. How's it going YouTube? In this video, we're deciding to start pulling the motor while we have the time. Um, we've got a few more days left in the shop before we have to bring it home. So I think now is the time to start throwing this in and at least mounting it in there because um, yeah, I don't know when else I'm gonna have the time. So even though I'm missing a few parts, I'm missing like a radiator, a drive shaft. I need a uh, input shaft for the transmission. I need a rear end. But as long as we get the engine in there mounted, we can do the rest of that stuff at home. So that's the plan for this video. Here it is. A reliable four cylinder. We're gonna get this a nice pressure wash. We sprayed it with some uh, gunk um, cleaner. Gunk engine cleaner. And we're gonna let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna pressure wash the crap out of it. I remove a few more things out of here. One of the next things we need to do is we need to cut some holes here for the air box. Now we have the room. Uh, maybe seal this up a little bit better. In about 15 minutes, now we're gonna go ahead and pressure wash it. There it is all clean. You can actually see that it's white now. Yeah, I'm amazed at how not disgusting it is. And if you take a look, the car is literally on two wheels, it looks like. That's no jack stands or anything, no jack. That's just how it's sitting right now because there's no weight in the front. Just took this out about an hour ago. And I posted it up on Facebook Marketplace and some guy already wants it, like within 20 minutes, hit me up. So I told him 50 bucks. I mean, it's not worth my time to really pot it out because we've got a deadline, but um, he's gonna come get it right now. It's gonna go in a uh, four cylinder circle track car at the, our local Seekonk Speedway. As you might've seen, the uh, radiator core support was all smashed in. Looks like somebody dukes a hazarded it, so. If you notice in this shot, we have it cut off already. And after um, after I clean up the engine bay and paint it, I'm going to fix that and weld it back on. And it'll be mint, and we'll finish slapping the engine in.
So here she is in her final resting place. ready to go now we're um gonna finish up with that and we'll put the bumper on Probably. So the T5 that we got, somebody had messed with it. I guess it had a ton of gear oil in it, which is not good. You don't really want gear oil in your T5. Um, so we ended up taking some diesel fuel and running it through probably five to seven times. Flushed out all that uh, gear oil and then put our own tranny fluid in it. All right, so the moment I've been waiting for for a little bit, the T5 is gonna go in now. I finally got clutch, flywheel, and uh, pressure plate all from Clutch America on eBay. Thank you to them. I got the ARP bolts, and I got the B&M ripper shifter. Bought this used on Facebook Marketplace for a decent price, it's 60 bucks. Um, then I got this clutch pedal assembly from some guy selling, this is a Fox body one, some guy was selling it. And I got an SN95 one from earlier today. We're gonna have to figure out which one's gonna work.
All right, so let's take a look at what we got going on down here. So I just got this new headband, so now I can actually show you what's going on when I do stuff like this. But the old Mustangs, the 81 or the 79 to I think 83, they had a different cross member and it has a bigger bushing. So our options here, we have to make some adjustments. So the way the transmission sits is back here a little bit. That bushing sits out back here and it goes flush. My old bushing is this size and needs to go into these. So we've made a plate right here. We're gonna weld this to this. And we basically made our own transmission. Mount. We're gonna just hit it with the tack while it's under here where we want it to be. And then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna button it up. And this should hold it pretty good because I don't really feel like spending $150 on an eBay one when I can just make my own. <laughs> this is the top side, so you won't really see these welds, but they look pretty decent. <clears throat> Cleaned up the edges here where it's all nasty. I'm gonna hit it with some rust traps. I can just paint over the rust on the ends there. Then I'm gonna leave that over in the sun to dry and cure. We'll put that, that in. We should have it done by the end of the day. So after having the transmission in for a little while, we uh, custom fabbed the center console to fit and it wasn't allowing the B&M shifter to go into second gear, which is kind of a problem if you want to actually uh, drive the car. So what we ended up doing was the B&M shifter was all one piece. You couldn't take the handle off the shifter itself, which it's a really nice quality shifter. It's too bad. But I ended up getting a factory shifter and putting a Hurst shifter handle on it because the angle, I guess, it just worked and it lets it go into every gear. So that's what I'm now running. I think it looks pretty sick actually with the Hurst handle and the Hurst five speed shift ball. The white on the contrast from the black dash. And uh, if you like automotive content, Mustang content, uh, you just want to see what I'm up to, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Any likes and comments are a bonus. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great one.